This is Big Chilla Coffee. Horizon's 100% fiber internet service is coming to your area. Call 740-772-8331 or visit horizonconnects.com forward slash Chilla Coffee to sign up today. This is Scott Bartholomew, head coach of the Chilla Coffee Cavaliers. Uh, first year, the last month and a half you've had these guys because uh, you've been with them ever since you've been hired back yeah, in january in january i started driving down three days a week and really it was five days a week and they weren't lifting five days a week but i was driving down five days a week to try to meet up with some of them do some different things but uh it, it's been a it's been a fun journey um it's one of those that anybody that's been a head coach understands all the things that go with being a head coach mm -hmm. i always tell my assistants if if you really enjoy coaching the game of football don't ever be a head coach because there's a whole bunch of other stuff that goes with it that makes your life a little bit more tense. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but uh, those are the things that you know I've I've done for years, and it's just a matter of getting back into that routine. But uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's been a, a lot of fun with this group, and, and I've watched them grow a little bit each time. And and we're not where we need to be by any stretch right now after our second scrimmage. But what we've done, we've we've made improvements the right direction the whole time. And the one thing that I think's changing the most is the team chemistry and by far chemistry is more important than anything I can teach them as far as a, a technique goes they if the chemistry is there they'll play hard for each other and and a lot of times they'll make those plays that you don't even practice because they they're, they're passionate about each other so that's what we're working for you spent the last five six years as an assistant coach uh, away from head coaching and what did you learn during that time to prepare you to get right back at it you again? know the, the funny thing was I, I retired in 2015 I went to work for my son and and, and any father son out there understands that if you've been in charge for 25 years and all once now you're not in charge uh, and you have to listen to someone else there was there were some battles some of those battles I probably won but most of them he won he was in charge um, but what I will tell you is uh, I probably learned more from him than he learned from me um, you know he's a younger guy he, he relates to these kids um, you know he does things that kids like that you know it, the days of coming out here and and and, and doing two a days until they're you know, just screaming at them and driving them in the ground you can't do that anymore kids don't want that I mean they they'll, they'll play hard for you but they want to have fun they want to enjoy it and so my son, he has that. He had that approach, and I mean, we had 80 kids, and we've tried to get that approach here, and uh, you know, so we've done some things. I mean, one day, two days, I, we just stopped and went and had pizza, and went over to the gym and played dodgeball and had a dodgeball tournament for the second practice, and you know. Maybe we missed out on a little coaching, but what did we gain? You know, if you'd have been there and watched them cheering for each other and rah rah for each other, you know, uh, it, it, we 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 got better that day. And we've so seen those, the pros do that. Yes, I mean we've and so my son, it, it, it's been about five years ago. We were getting ready for the next day of two days. He hadn't told any of us, and we started talking about practice the next day. And he goes, "We're not practicing tomorrow." I was like, "What do we mean we're not practicing tomorrow? We got to get better." He goes, "We're going to Zambezi Bay. I got two buses coming." And I bought 60 tickets. Kids got on a bus with their swimming suits and we went to Zimbabwe Bay all day long. <laughs> and uh, you know, whether it's right or wrong, it, you know, he had 80 kids out and the kids were enjoying it and we started winning games. And so you know, there, there's something to it. And so I, I, like I said, I think I learned as much from him as he did from me. Do you like what you've seen out of this group so far? I have. Um, obviously there's some things we still got to work on getting better at, but we're, you know, we're doing some things well and uh, trying to evaluate and get kids in the right spot. You know, when uh, a lot of us have never seen these kids before until, you know, and you can see them all winter and you can say, well, that kid looks like a football player, but you know, you can look like a football player, but not be a football player. Then there's other kids that don't look like football players who once the pads are on are football players. And so now that we've got a little bit of the two a days out of the way, we've kind of got a better idea of where they fit in and where we can move and what we can do with them. And so trying to do some of those things with those kids now that we understand their their talent level. Mm -hmm. uh, offensively, you've got Lee back. Uh, he's a, a two-way guy. He plays on defense as well. Dowdy's back, a quarterback for you again. It's got to be a plus to have some experience in this position. It is. Positions. It is. There's some. There's some. There's some really nice seniors, and and you know. But the thing is, is it's it's been an adjustment for them. You know, uh, it's a new coach, it's a new system, it's a new way of things. Trying to figure out what I what I want and what how I want them to do things and, and stuff. But they've really uh, caught on to it, and, and uh, I think they're doing a really good job. All the seniors, I can't complain about any of them. Their attitudes, their efforts have been good, and so uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited for them. I'm hoping that uh, everything goes well once the season starts. 
Your last game I saw you coach against Chillicothe was a playoff game. Now you are on the other sideline, going back to Taste Valley and taking on the alma mater. Uh, this is a special week, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, you know, the, the, it, I'm, my dad still lives there in Asheville. I still have a bunch of friends there, family there. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's important for me that way just because my family's going to be there. I'd like for my team to show show well. And when I say show well, I just want my kids to play hard. If we don't win but we play hard and we do the things, we're, then that's the way the game goes. But, I, you know, I want them to do that. So uh, I, I want them to represent Chillicothe well. And so for me, that's uh, – but it's about them. And uh, it's about the first game. And I think uh, it's as much as um, – any game could mean to this group of kids that it's this game. And it has nothing to do whether it's Taze Valley or has anything to do with me. It's just that first game of everything we've been telling them. If they can get a win out of it, then they just buy in that much more. And then they just believe that much more. And the more they believe, the better we get. And so um, that's, that's where the game's so important. It really has nothing to do with me or Taze Valley or anything like that. It, it's more about what can happen with these kids if, if we go up there and can come away with a win. Looking forward to it. Our Litter Media Game of the Week, the feature game. We'll see you Friday night. All right, thanks, Dan. <laughs>